The end of the home football season may come as a relief to many residents who live near Memorial Stadium. As KUJH TV's Kiernan Markey explains, renters say landlords are not doing their tenants any favors by renting out their parking spots to football fans. It's game day on 10th and Alabama Street, and the air is filled with the smells of barbecue and the sounds of thousands of excited KU fans. While food and drink are plenty, one thing is always scarce on game day, parking. With the stadium only a block away, Alabama Street is ideal for tailgaters. On game day, there's virtually nowhere to park from here all the way down to 6th Street, and no one understands this more than the students who live in the Oread neighborhood. Maria Begg is one of those students who struggles to find parking yes. near her house on game days. What makes parking even more difficult for Begg and her roommates is the fact that their landlords rent out their back parking lot to tailgaters. I, I think it's a little unfair because like we pay rent here, so it's like they're technically our parking spots for the year, and so it's like they get the extra money that we don't get. On average, landlords charge $20 to $30 per car and will cram up to 30 cars on a lawn at a time. Landlords make renting out parking spaces a provision in their tenant's leases, and more than a dozen houses surrounding the stadium are like this. This becomes a hassle for tenants whose lives do not revolve around football. Also, it's just really inconvenient because it's like if my life doesn't revolve around the football games, like if I have something else going on, I have to find some other way. City manager David Corliss said there is not much the city can do to help students. He said that prohibiting landlords from doing this could be too hard to enforce and would only force parking into other neighborhoods. Kiernan Markey, KJH TV News.